So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? How secure is your barn? Having a safe place for the cows is pretty important. Thanks to the fence, nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the daddies took most of our cattle before we got it running. Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. It is copying things from the show and the comic. I did read the comic. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? Is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. And like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. They go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Derry won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. God, they're not at all creepy and untrustworthy. Nobody's that nice now. They're gonna eat me. I'm telling you, they're gonna eat me. Everything in here looks safe, and now I know where to find some rope in case they need help tying anything down. Oh, that's not a little a hint about something to come in the game. Mmm, fresh herbs. 
I can hardly wait for dinner. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lou. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh... Trust you. You know. All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I'm gonna need some rope, but that board I found is too long. Oh, this is this is a real head scratcher. Maybe if I use the axe to cut down the tree and then tie some leaves together, I can make some rope and then. Or oh, I can just go get some rope and a bit of wood. This rope is perfect for the swing. Where's the run button? Where's the run button? Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. No, not that one. That's my good board. Did I just put it in my pocket? What the fuck? <laughs> Why is that weird? <sighs> All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned.
Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All you fixed. Know, that should make everyone happy. Mark, come push me on the swing. Hey. Come on, push me. So I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hi. All right. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. Looks like he's stuck. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. I was through the neck, so I don't think the arrow did it. Disgusting. Uh. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Oh, that was alive. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. 
think they fuse together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ah! What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Sick of it! One of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move him. You Do they have bloody hell? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Can't run through the gate now. I guess it doesn't make a difference, does it? They can go over the gate. Over there again. Lee, what's wrong? There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit! Are are you okay? The bandits here on our property. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did he? 
I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor end. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? Great. This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah! Nobody notices that? Hey, Clem. Do you want to like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Yeah, lucky out there. It'll been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. They look happy. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? 
Now, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Lily's been doing a good job of keeping the group together. You need to back off a bit. Whatever. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Hmm. Wait. Why does he keep saying this? Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover from arrows, if that becomes a problem. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Is this really just emulating everything that happened in the show? Is there going to be a bunch of people in there? Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're going to need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? <sighs> I don't know, though. Both you and Kitty have been very important in keeping the group together. Yeah, well, if I don't keep us alive, there won't be a group to keep together. Hey. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. It's 
So, he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Still an asshole. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, now she's talking about the side of her mouth. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people These are usually pretty protective of their now? privacy. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. It's a zombie cow. That's what it is. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Found it.
You see anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Just water. like they expected to be here a while. Why did he bother to move it? Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What'd you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these, recently. Your guns down. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. 
What the fuck happened? You had to deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't you. kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Well. God damn it. I was five seconds away from shooting her myself. Well, maybe you shoulda. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. I'm still not really sure. Why did he have her hat? Come on. Why did she have her hat? Is Jill leave? Wait a second. I didn't get a look at that picture. Wait! It's always the same thing. I always activate the fucking cutscene before realizing it. 